This is the most overpowered defense in Madden 23. What? It pushes run plays backwards. It gets so much pressure, it will shut down your opponent's entire passing game. If you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I am once again using my Ravens offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more plays from these playbooks, just make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. But if you don't want to wait and you want to see more from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the link in the description or the top pinned comment and they will download instantly to your device or you can have them sent to the email of your choice. In this video, I start off on offense. I get asked a lot which one of these ebooks is my favorite and the answer is really simple. If I want to run the ball, it's the Ravens. If I want to pass the ball, it's the Saints. What? The Ravens has a lot of good passing plays as well. On the first drive, I see he is running cover three, so I switch over to the verticals play from the gun empty quads, which can be a one play touchdown, but I threw the ball a little bit early. I really only run this offense so I can run the quarterback blast play. Run. As the formation spreads the defense so much, you really have to choose between stopping the quarterback blast and the pass plays. I get sacked on second down, but my read was wide open over the middle, so I go right back to it thinking I could drop it in the bucket right over the user. Nope. And he picks it off in the end zone. Or at least that's what I thought, as it gives him forward progress, saying he was down at the one. Get him. And I don't even wait to see what offense he's in, as I go right in my number one run defense to cover four quarters out of three four odd. I'm sure he's going to try to run the ball to get off the goal line, so I pinch the entire defense to close up all the gaps. Then I blitz all linebackers and send the house. I also decide to take another risk by guessing run, knowing that I will either get a stop or I will give up a 99 yard touchdown. I use it as a safety knowing that if he does pass, I can always drop back and try to get into a passing lane, although that's really not going to be too great. Or I can shoot for the quarterback and try to get the user sack myself. I see Aaron Rodgers turn around for the handoff, so I shoot in, get over here. stuffing him in the end zone and guaranteeing no lucky fall forward animations today. We get our first safety of the game. I already did a full breakdown of this defense in a previous video as it's one of my most diverse run defenses in the game. If you guys didn't see that, I'll have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. What the hell is going on? The next play on offense, though, I throw my second interception on back-to-back -back passes. Damn it! Because I'm just not showing my man's user any respect at all, and he's making me pay for it. Back on defense, I get to show the second defense I'm going to show you guys today, and that is the quarter normal under smoke. I've made a few videos about this defense as well. I have links in the description for all of them if you guys want more information. To set this play up, all you have to do is press. And I also like walking in this blitzing cornerback so he doesn't have such a long distance to go. You can't go too close to the line, though, because then a lineman might pick him up. But at the end of the day, you definitely want him closer than he is. So I would say about five yards off the line of scrimmage makes the most sense. On the first play, he tries to run and we can shut the run down with this as well as we stop him right at the line of scrimmage on the next play the corner gets in free but this is Aaron Rodgers so he gets the ball off for the first on the next play he uses play action and if I would have guessed pass that sack would have been even faster he gets into a third and nine as the pressure once again ends the drive and he only got 10 yards before settling for a field goal and now we got a baseball score, three to two in the bottom of the ninth. How about those Phillies, by the way? I know there's a lot of Philadelphia sports fans out there, so let me hear you in the comment section as we are going to the World Series, baby. I start the next drive by running the ball with the buck sweep, which is really one of the best run plays in the game. I probably should have stuck with that, because every time I throw the ball, I'm throwing an interception. As I try to squeeze into a tight cover three seam, and he's going the other way with a long pick six, as there is nobody out here to stop him. I need to get points in a hurry, so I choose the escape play out of the gun normal Y off close. This is a play that I'm planning a future video about as it can score against just about any defense. And I would have gotten a touchdown here, but the pressure prevents me from being able to step into the throw. I do get a big play though, and I do flip the field. On the next play, I think the tight end is wide open. We get another inaccurate pass due to pressure, and the ball hangs in the air just a little bit longer than I wanted to, and we get picked off for the fourth time this game. But we got him backed up against the goal line one more time, so we start off with our cover four quarters once again, we stuff him for a one yard loss. Nope. I guess he decides the pass since every time he ran against this defense, he's gone backwards. So we go back to the under smoke and we almost get a safety on the next play. Woo. Honestly, he was lucky to get that animation. No big deal though, is on the next play, we use our blitz right up the middle, forcing him out of the pocket into our QB contained for our second safety of the half. 
Back on offense, I decide I gotta stop fucking around. We go back to the escape play, and I can see he switches from cover three to cover two. If only he knew that this play scores against every defense. Break yourself, fool! As we split the safeties and take an 11-10 lead. How often do you see a score like that, by the way? Then on the kickoff, we do a fullback kick so well that he tries to let it go out of the back of the end zone only to watch it die at the one yard line. He tries to pick it up and make something out of it. And now he's starting at the six. I'm smelling another safety and so is he. So he decides to run a screenplay. Oh my God. As we get an interception in the end zone for a touchdown. Another stat you rarely see is the interception return for zero yards and a touchdown. We go for two and we just walk it in for a commanding 9.2 possession lead. And we go right back to that fullback kick one more time. And to my amazement, he lets it go again. What the only to watch it die at the one yard line just like it was an instant replay from the last kickoff only this time he returns it to the five yard line instead of the six on well, the very next play we are smelling blood so we use your blitz right to the run lane and only to chase him out of the pocket and into the third safety of the first half that has to be an nfl record i bet you thought that title was clickbait didn't you huh? Huh? no big deal though is i'm gonna keep him in the game with my offense i go back to the escape play one more time and the route gets past the defense again but the pressure gets in my face once again, forcing another underthrown ball that is once again intercepted. Damn it! That's five in one half. And almost all of them were caused by my Pro Bowl left and right tackles straight dumbing out in pass protection. So thanks to my defense, I am up 21-10 despite losing the turnover battle 5-1. to one. He starts completing some passes though as Rodgers isn't as easily affected by the pressure. The defensive holds up though as he started with the ball in field goal range, that's exactly how he ended it with. We get the ball back with 12 seconds left, just enough time to throw another interception, breaking another record for interceptions thrown at half. Take that, Nathan Peterman. Yeah. Back on defense to start the second half, and we are trying to break the record for sacks. Yeah. As we only have allowed 19 yards in the first half and scored pretty much all of our points on defense. We get the swat on third down, and he decides to go for it. I think he is trying to do an aggressive catch glitch or something. As he tries to squeeze it into the marker, but safe catches it short, turning the ball over on downs. <laughs> We start using some trick plays as we are just happy to get a field goal and extend our lead back to nine. And he is still letting the kick go past, but I guess his luck is changing this time as it finally goes out the back of the end zone. He starts hitting me with some crossers as he gets a big catch and run after I went for the user pick. He starts running the ball, so I switch over to the cup four quarters in the red zone. We stuff him on third down and switch over to the dime normal DB zero blitz because I thought that the extra lineman would help in run defense if he ran the ball, but the pressure doesn't get home the same. So he gets the first. We go back to the cup four quarters because we are inside the five and Rodgers makes short work of this defense without the pressure. He goes for two and nails it, and now he is only down three with the entire fourth quarter to play. And we are not going to throw any more interceptions for the rest of this game. I promise. Didn't say anything about fumbles, though. See what I did there? As Jalen Hurts has his seventh turnover of the game. That's got to be another record. We start locking down on defense on the first two plays. Then on third and nine, though, he beats my man coverage safety with a one-on-one. -on -one, and now we are down four late in the game. It's all up to our offense, which really hasn't done much today. But I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve in this ebook. He has seen enough from the escape play, so I'm sure he's watching that by now. So I switch over to the PA post dig shot from the gun Y off tree a week. This play can be found in just about every playbook in the game in some formation or another. We see he's still in cover three so we make our cover three setup and he never sees it coming as he follows the crosser Break yourself, fool. and we take the lead on the very next play since he started having success against my man zero blitzes i started hitting with a cover three blitz but once he gets the first down we go right back to the under smoke play we try mixing it up a little bit by going with the linebacker blitz zero but this play doesn't get home nearly as fast and now we're switching defenses and coverages every single play in hopes to try to catch him in something we go back to the cover four quarters in the red zone but on third and eight we go back to the under smoke one more time i don't like what i'm seeing in the formation though so i call a timeout and switch over to the db fire two and we get the stop he ties the game up and gives me the ball back with one timeout and plenty of time left on the clock so we start running the ball but he gets me into a third and five right away and on a critical third and five i hit him with a big oh one trap run right up the middle and now we are running our four minute offense runs and short pass plays from the gun deuce close i see he's coming out and cover two quite a lot so we end the drive on back-to-back oh -back one traps right up the middle which turn out to be the mvp of this drive as we call a timeout and easy field goal range he ices me but he doesn't know i got ice in my veins as we nail the field goal and get a crazy win so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more gameplays like this make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that i got a link for the cover for run defense popping up on the screen right now so if you guys want to see the full potential of that defense just click the link on the screen and other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below